there are lots of failures. Um, I think uh, rarely, rarely do we get a chance to talk much about them. So thank you for the, the question, Russell. I, um, when you said failure, I, I immediately thought about um, probably back in the 90s when I was, um, I had taken on um, another nonprofit and had really built it uh, into a, a fairly significant organization over a five-year period, the Women's Environment and Development Organization. And it had a very strong board of co-founders. And in the wake of the, the death, of the, the principal founder, the president of the organization, former Congresswoman Bella Abzug. Um, after we did this beautiful memorial in the United Nations, first time ever um, that the General Assembly had been open for an ordinary citizen, but we managed to pull that off and have all kinds of celebrities from the UN to Shirley MacLaine and, you know, uh, Wangari Mathai great heroes of mine. After all of that, I hadn't brought the organization along with me. And basically, I got the eject button. I mean, they, they give me a sabbatical, um, but it was, um, it was time for me to go. And it was heartbreaking because I didn't understand after working so hard and killing myself, how could they have done that to me? In, um, in the, the aging process, some wisdom comes from that. And I realized that I was in a hurry. Um, I was so much in a hurry that I hadn't adequately listened to people. I hadn't um, really built the collaborative tissue that I needed to be able to weather such a major event, right? And when you have very powerful leaders um, in their absence upon a sudden death in particular, you have many turbulent forces at work. And so for me it was a learning that um, I'm now applying, of course, in other, other work and other organizations. Um, as I have taken on the, the, the building of BRAC USA, um, I, I think I try to, to remain quite um, humble about my position um, and to always be having an eye towards um, succession strategy, not just within our own organization, but also with the, the BRAC family of organizations. And um, I think if you realize that even as the CEO, even as the entrepreneur, um, we all need to be replaceable if the dream stays alive. And that creates a different way of building your team, building your talent, and of just seeing uh, the, the sweep of life.